So that coming back to the concept of hub could actually work if this whole lockdown is to continue for long. Because if we, we go back to the original idea of uh, consolidating people, so we reduce travel by, by say someone who is, for example, stuck in, in, in Penang, but is, who is actually in the university in, in Sabah, who is on the other side, but because of restriction, I cannot travel now. Can that whole concept of hub being retaught within the domestic concept by saying now, you don't need to physically go to that university in Sabah. You just need to go into any university around you and that serve as the, the sort of learning hub or the learning station that one can, can have and have access to the same kind of education. And, and because not only going to university to access all this, but it's, the fact is that many of the students, the moment they leave the campus, they don't even have internet access. Or they don't even have the facilities to, to follow online learning. Uh, that is actually happening even in, in, in the local uh, institutions. Uh, so we, we actually miss an opportunity to rethink and to reuse that concept of hub dom domestically uh, for a different purpose, but to, to reimagine certain things on, on higher education domestically without just thinking about hubs in terms of uh, international students coming in or, or for the, the transnational uh, education in, in that manner. Yeah, maybe just uh, one, let's go around for one, perhaps one last words or thoughts about uh, the future of, of hubs. Okay. Um, <laughs> I, I was thinking about the label of education hubs and the concepts. I think uh, some of these uh, examples, it could be sort of, fashionable to have on your policy document, on your political agenda. Um, in some places it has declined, but if you look carefully, some of those activities continue to persist, right? So there is a rhetorical level of policy. Um, I think we should look carefully at whether or not the empirical level, what is happening in higher education development continues in that direction, despite politicians not embracing it. Anyone? Maybe, yeah. Hard to formulate a final thought on this, but maybe following up on, on Jack's remark, I think the, the labeling initiative of education hubs to me seems less worthwhile now than it was maybe 10 years ago mm -hmm. or 15 years ago. Um, but I do think that empirical research on the policies, the imaginaries, the policies, the actions, and who who gets to benefit from what kind of activities, because this is ultimately about policy making and about financial resources being poured into particular projects. And there's always opportunity costs. So by focusing on a particular strategy, you exclude other options as well. So I think in, in that terms, uh, there's a lot of room and scope for thinking through new ways of organizing international higher education. And I think the pandemic can, has thrown sort of some of the established notions and idea of what successfulness means in this regard and sort of um, twisted those a bit. And I think that can be an interesting starting point for conceptual thoughts. But I think primarily what we also need is better empirical understanding of the concrete actions and policies and their repercussions and impacts um, nothing to add, but uh, to follow up to what Yana has mentioned, I was uh, looking through uh, the Seabird website. Uh, I suppose the interest on the uh, international branch campus under this particular uh, centre has died down to an extent because the last updated data was November 2020. So um, probably in, uh, we might uh, agree with Yana, uh, we might look, need to look at a different way of um, putting the hub concept alive uh, with more data rather than simply looking at classification of uh, mm -hmm. the hub itself as a physical space. Yep. 
I would say I would say who are the beneficiaries of these uh, hubs and take take their ideas, take their pers- pers- perceptions on board. Like you know, students as partners is a new uh, idea where we engage students uh, with us, make decision. For example, in my classroom, it's just not providing them the teaching, but also not only their feedback, but they are my partners. And, and we are delivering the teaching, the research together. And similarly to Education Hub as well, who are the beneficiaries? Um, we can bring them on board and, and redesign, reimagine, whatever you want to call it, the, the Education Hub. Much more meaningful, I would say, rather than just rhetorical policies, whatever. All right. Uh... Thank you very much. I think we had a, a wonderful discussion, very um, many thought-provoking thinking. And, and um, this, this is not the end of the discussion. This is the start of a, a, a more prolonged and, and more um, substantial uh, discussion that uh, this, this cluster uh, is, is hopefully going to have over the next uh, several months and even years. All right. I thank you very much for all your time. And we we'll see you again. All right. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Take care. Yeah. We will Thank just leave. Um, the, the reason I'm having that clear cutoff is so that the, 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 the team who is doing the, the, the editing work later can cut it off from, from, <laughs> from there. But, but feel free to, to, to mingle around. Two of our colleagues who have other events has managed to come in. Uh, I think maybe Sam. Hi, Hi guys. Things. Hi, everyone. Uh, my apologies. I, I just finished, uh, just got home from an event the at, at the university. It's called the Live Program. Um, I, I, I was just listening to, what, uh, to your conversation. I think um, probably just uh, off the record, just, just adding up to um, what Yana and also um, Jack was saying. I, I think the word hub um, has very dangerous, uh, a very, very dangerous uh, constructive definition to it. I think I think this is that I think I think I, I as I remember as I recall I, I used to uh, I, I I used to experience uh, Lim Kok Wing University uh, back way 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 back then I, I think one of the idea of having this so called hub is again to allow diversity to allow that uh, intercultural um, uh, um, exchange um, for our student for our, our home student actually that was one of the main reason before that and also one of the ideas to to probably um, uh, allow students to probably not 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 let the money get out of the country first. So you have like two, two, uh, three years in Malaysia, and then you have one year in Australia, one year in the UK. The three three I remember three point oh and four point oh program that was way way back then before the idea of the hub. Um, but I think I, I think that that, that that there's a need to, to there's a need for a pattern shift on, on on the word hub. Probably hub the word hub itself is actually a killer word. You know, it 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 it, it, it constricts us from from finding a better model, I think, I think, I think, uh, yes, we do have student hub, talent hub, but not again. The word hub is central because then again, it's what Jack, Jack was saying. It's about cultural experiences where you have to be there to experience that that learning. Um, and I, I think, I, I think that if we're going to move to another model, I think the word hub needs to be probably omitted in that sense altogether, so that you know we are we are not we are not bound by saying that you must be there, you must experience all this kind of stuff. I think that it was. That is that 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 catch uh, twenty one phases that that I think that that should be I think I don't know if you're going to move to a, 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 a new model the word hub should just be omitted altogether so then then we can have a fresh start uh, because we still want diversity uh, I think for long term um, we still we are looking at the economy eco- economy and cultural impact yes we want that I mean for example in Malaysia I I, I was uh, I was the director for international office and one of the one of the point having students coming to USM is because we cannot get we have about 34,000 students and not all of them can afford to go overseas. And by having international students in our country, uh, they will be able to rub shoulders and learn about uh, the diverse culture and whatnot. So that is one, one of the intention. So I think, again, um, just to reiterate from listening to you guys, fantastic ideas that you guys have. But I think my, my take here is just the word hub is a very dangerous word. Maybe you can get, get rid of it. Then that will be easier for us to move forward. So that's just... Uh, my two cents. Uh, we, we need uh, your design and advertising mind to to help us frame this more sexy. <laughs> yeah, Sam is killing a whole group of people who are doing research on hubs. 
<laughs> yeah, because, because I I know because the thing is, you see, I'm 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 also I'm 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 also a, a branding person. So I think when you're trying to brand something, you have to be very careful because it's about brand value, brand history, and whatnot. So I I think it's very dangerous from the get go if because I think the word hub is not sustainable in that sense. Okay, sustainable. I what what I mean is if you have pandemic, for example. And that's it. You have an issue. You have an economic downturn, for example, or geopolitical uh, uh, issues, for example. So that would be one of those things that will hinder the development. Again, the idea is about cultural exchange. The idea is about getting an overseas degree. Not only you're getting the degree, but experience of being, for example, in Germany. Germany, Germany is very lucky because I know they're free. I've, I've, I even applied to a, a German university because I know it was free uh, by them. And now you have to pay a little bit, but not as much. But I think I think that idea of uh, probably hub is not part of um, uh, Germany uh, vo- vocab, I guess. I'm not sure. Uh, but because, uh, um, yes, you see, it's not part of the vocab. But you do want international, for example, for, for that diversity. Um, I think in, in China, I'm thinking on what uh, CD was saying about Chinese university being in one, uh, one area. You have different universities in one area. It makes sense economically. And you know, financially, it makes a lot of sense. And they're not competing because they have they're from normal universities. And uh, I, I think Changda know, CD know this better. You have normal universities, you have technical universities and whatnot. Then we have different kind of universities. So that competition is, is not there. Uh, whereas Malaysia, because everyone to, wanted to be a comprehensive university. Yeah. Uh, I think in the UK, I'm not sure about in Australia as well. Every, everything is about comp- comprehensiveness of the university. Because that is that, that brand. So I think this is why there's a lot of difficulties. I think there's not a lot of hiccups and there's a lot of... Um, uh, uh, contention between between you know uh, what we want and what is needed actually. So I I, I guess that's just I, I better stop now um, because uh, you know I I was just listening in. Uh, it was very interesting and uh, many times I want to bite him. I said no, I'm gonna bite my tongue first. I'm just gonna listen to what you guys have to say. So that, I'm not sure you know, whether I wanted to call you or not just now because I'm not sure whether you wearing <laughs> no, it. Like, no, lucky you you you, you, you didn't because I was in I was. I was sitting on, I was putting uh, my headset earlier and I was still doing my work just now. So, but I, I was still listening in because I, I find it really interesting, uh, the conversation. Um, okay, guys. Probably, I think, uh, who else is here? I think uh, Yas is here. Yes, yes, he's here. Yes, we want to say something. Yeah. I- Hello. Hi. Good evening. Sorry. I was just... Oh, it was really, really towards the end. I was just listening to what Jack was saying and Yana was saying just now on the policy. I was in a meeting engaging with my partners uh, from UPM and then had some issues with the systems. Uh, now, uh, just let me introduce myself. I'm Yezrina. I'm currently the Deputy Director at the, let me see, Higher Education Leadership Academy, all right, or better known as ACAP. But I'm also an academic that's attached to University Kebangsaan Malaysia. How I got hooked up to this cluster is just like the same as Sam. I used to be the director of international affairs for nine years, actually. So very much involved uh, on internationalization. Now, I don't have much to comment on the word hub or whatnot, because I do agree with whatever that Sam has said, Yana has said, and Jack has said. Yeah, and also what Jasve has said as well, right? Uh, The whole idea is that we need to look um, how we want to move on internationalization, whether because Malaysia is, of course, definitely using the word hub. They want it to be an international hub and whether that's still relevant due to the pandemic. And of course, then when Yana said policy needs to come in, definitely, because at the end of the day, you know, uh, we can write as much anything about hub, but how do we materialize it? And again, then when after the pandemic uh, with the technology, how do we define that? Because the universities, the practitioners at the international office are actually looking into how if we can't make it. I mean, students wants to come. Definitely they want to fly. I see a lot of my friends, you know, can't wait to, some of them are even going to Turkey now because they don't have any restrictions. All right. So they're looking where they can go, basically. But having said that, there are other issues that we need to think. And, and a lot of, I think, throughout the one and a half years, most of the students have spent their time. They find it is much easier to be connected with the international people, their friends, you know, uh, building networks and also their testing grounds on uh, how they can do exchange virtually. So as much as uh, people want to fly and move, and yet uh, practical-wise, there's a lot of things that they are also doing yeah, uh, in promoting internationalization. So 
again, I do agree. Branding has to do the word of use, the word of how needs to be associated to how we're going to brand. So that's something that we need to look into. So thank you very much. Sorry for me coming in late. Yeah, but definitely would love to be engaged with you guys again and be, you know, to talk and discuss about this. Yeah, so this, this, the five of us are, are literally in, in, in this in this cluster. So, um, um, and Jasrina is possibly our closest ears to what is happening in, in Putrajaya. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh yeah, there's a lot of issues that's coming out just now I saw on the articles and whatnot, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's uh, great. I look forward to uh, you guys writing that uh, issue. Uh, we <laughs> well, once we have the, the issues paper, I think, um, we'll run it through the both of you um, to, to uh, feel free to have your comments and, and things like that. Uh, and and um, we, we'll keep in touch. Thanks a lot once again, taking your yeah. time off your busy morning. And exceeding the time some more. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Well, I, I suppose the word teh tare, you know, somehow when you have discussion and having coffee, somehow when it, it will be the mm -hmm. Yes, the discussion is very, very interesting when we talk about this, I believe. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Thanks. Okay. Thank, Thank you. Nice Thank meeting you so everyone. Bye. Bye. Take care. Bye. Bye. Have a good day. Bye. 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 Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye.